Hello everyone and welcome back to Time Worn Tower. In the last episode I left off with a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to do in my notes but just ran out of time. Thankfully the recording was only about 30 minutes or the episode was only 30 minutes because the recording was like 50 minutes. So I have a lot of stuff I want to go over but I didn't get to do a lot of follow-ups since last episode since I just had so much I was ready to do already. So uh, yeah but if I go out of the little F5 there so there's a few things to go over. And also some things to know about the mod pack. So let's just try and get through this real quick. Uh, the first thing, my tools have leveled. And you might also notice I also made some new backpacks. Because I got a whole bunch of rotten flush. I was able to make a bunch more patchwork leather. So new backpacks just so I have more space. I don't have enough string yet to upgrade to the bigger backpack. So, you know, just having a few more is the best I can do at the moment. But uh, you might notice that my sword got... Um, I think I got moss and quartz since you last saw it, but it has those modifiers now. I also got moss on the shovel, nothing on the hatchet yet, because I haven't really used it that much, honestly. And I think this got a uh, reinforced and emerald, and it's also now master, so it doesn't get any more modifiers, or at least it doesn't get any more modifier slots or random modifiers through leveling. I can still add some of, I get stuff to upgrade it. Yeah, that's what I was going for. And I did also use this a bit. The fortune on there was really nice. I got really lucky with that. So, I did go mining for some ores, and, um, got a lot of iron now. I also to get a good bit more diamond and some gems, and just more in general. I was mainly trying to get gold, because as you might notice, I upgraded all the chests to gold, because I was running out of space. And I also made a barrel, because that chest was still getting full, even after upgrading it, because of all the stone. But, uh, I don't know, things should be more or less the same. I did also get an ender pearl, I forget where, but I got it. And, uh, the other thing is... I expand the basement and I made a mob grinder. So if you look in here, uh, I actually want to review this in the episode, but I made more dollies and some diamond dollies to move spawners because in the tower we explored in the last episode, there were a bunch of zombie spawners. So I decided to uh, take them and bring them back and make a spawner so I could kill zombies, grind levels, get the leather, and not have to go all the way to the tower and die. Because when I was going back to get the spawners even, I almost died. Partially probably because my armor was all degrading. This is actually all I had left of the armor I was wearing last episode. But also just because the zombies were pretty strong. And I did get some pretty interesting new items too. So uh, I have these cloud boots. I think I got them last episode. Uh, some iron boots, some chocolate crust apparently. Oh no, there's a lot of really interesting stuff. Including frozen meat, which is equivalent to a diamond sword. I don't get it either. But it's really good. Oh, I have advanced tooltips on. Let me turn them off or... I think that's it. There we go. So, I have some interesting stuff. I did get this too. And, oh, this helmet. That was the main thing I wanted to note in here. It passively boosts my health. Just having it in my inventory. I don't have to equip it. So, this is something I would like to keep on me from now on. Just so I get the extra health. Because that will probably come in handy. Uh, this is speed iron boots. That was the chest plate from before. And that's the trinket from before. And what's this? Leather pants. So, oh. Yeah, I don't think I really want to equip them just for the basic healing. I could, though. You must also notice there's a spawner here. It's a blaze spawner. So everybody's saying, how did I get a blaze spawner? I haven't been to the nether, have I? Well, the answer is, no, I have not. I actually was exploring the caves, trying to get ores and whatnot, and I ran to this little, like, not really a dungeon, just part of the cave was, like, netherrack with a blaze spawner in the middle. So that's also how I got a few blaze rods you might have saw in here if you had a good eye. So, um, yeah. I have a blaze spawner. I brought it back just because it was kind of out of the way and I, now I forgot where it is probably because, you know, it was a few days ago when I was preparing stuff. But at the moment I was like, you know what, I probably should go grab that now. So, yeah, but the grinder's over here, but there's a few other things to show. One, I made some armor stands. Two, the basement. And, um, I think this moon's more or less the same. I did get a whole bunch of eggs, uh, some plant seeds, but I haven't really looked into how to contain them. Just because I knew I had a lot bunch of other stuff to do, so hopefully in the next episode I'll be able to do, look more into that. If I come down here, I have a pretty big basement now for stuff I want to do, and I'm also going to grab these. Also, I got a good bit of levels and was saving uh, levels for enchanting this episode, and this is also a space for something I want to do this episode. That, in retrospect, I might want to move. So, you might also notice this chest over here. Well, while I was exploring the tower a bit more, in that room that I almost went to with a zombie spawner and then got overrun, that had that little, like, door on the side, there was a chest in that room. And since I cleared that area, I just brought it back with a dolly, because, well, why go all the way there if I could just bring it back? I have not looked inside, so let's see what's in here. Okay, I'm not going to complain. I mean, I was kind of hoping for something a bit more than just a couple pieces of diamond armor, or armor in general, but those aren't bad boots. It's actually an impossible enchantment to add those two together, too, I think, so... Eh. 
So that is not bad. So the one thing I wanted to know is about the mod pack in general. I was talking to Time Traveler about it, and yes, it is day. And uh, over here is where I end up making the grinder. But uh, I was talking to Time Traveler about it, and she did mention that the lag is actually from dimension hopping. Or there was a problem with lag when dimension hopping, so it might not all be dimensional doors, and that's actually the reason she stopped working on the mod pack. So I don't think there is any known solution for that, or a good way to fix besides just restarting the game. Although, the other thing is dimensional doors, they aren't in one dimension. Like, every time I go through a dimensional door, it's a new dimension, or usually, I think. Not positive. So that was probably why I was so lag prone there, especially as I started opening more doors and creating more dimensions. So I'm not sure what we'll really do about that, but that's what happened. And uh, it has two zombie spawners in it. It's my basic design using a water to push the mobs and funnel them into a little place here. So, I mean, there's really not much to say. I can't really go in there. If there's a sign up there to stop the water from falling, you, you might be able to see a little bit on the side. I don't know. But I already have levels, so I really don't need to show much more about the grinder. Just want to note that, hey, there is this grinder there now. And that's been growing a lot. I haven't harvested it once either, because I have other food now of wheat. But, and that's also what was growing in, or not growing, but uh, cooking in here. So, uh, yeah. But let's see, I talked about uh, the spawners, uh, the dungeon loot, the dollies, and all that stuff. I think I went over the tools, ores, upgrade chest, expanded basement, grinder, backpacks. And I know it about the dimension stuff, so I already went over the... Oh, another thing I didn't note that I had in my notes. So if you come out here, it's raining. But uh, I got a potato of one of the zombies while doing stuff between the dungeon and the spawner there. So now I have potatoes growing, which honestly, I think I'm better off with bread. But eh, it's another crop if I really want, you know, different food, more food. for that rain stops. You know, I thought I actually ended my off-camera stuff just before night. Now it already turned night again. Oh well. So, the main thing I want to do this episode is I want to build something, I want to get some new gear, and I want to get a new friend, I want to fight, and I want to fight something. So most of these are left over from last episode, so I think I actually want to start building something. So this is a coke oven brick. Now, I haven't I think I've only done this once before, way back in uh, an F a Feed the Beast series I did, on a server with a group at the time that no longer exists. Well, the playlist does. So this you need to make, well, it says down here, multi-block 3x3 three 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 hollow. So you do like this, little 3x3, three three, and you just don't fill the center block. And I think I made just enough. If I do like this, it should, ta-da. So what this does is it burns coal, turns it into coke coal, and it also fills with creosote, or creosote oil, I think it's called. Now, the reason I made this, and I probably need to make some more, and that's also why I was considering, or in retrospect, I probably should have moved it. So, I, I haven't used this in a long time. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, it might be some weird ID conflict there. But I haven't used this in a long time, but put this here and push this. Huh. Does it cook itself? Yeah, I think it just cooks the coal into coal. It doesn't actually burn the coal. I haven't done this in a long time. It's a very slow process, but you need the coke coal to use in a blast furnace to make steel. And steel is what I need to progress more in tinkers to get um, the nether ores, I believe, like cobalt, I think, uh, needs steel. So if I search uh, blast furnace, uh, here's the block here. It's a similar thing, only it's hollow by a four four tall instead of three tall but i need nether stuff for that infernal bricks which i think are oh i actually could make infernal bricks didn't know that but uh it pretty much needs soul stand magma cream and nether brick which i don't really have because i haven't been to the nether i did, could get some nether bricks from that uh place area but decided not to so, this should get me coke coal in just a second, but I want to do this at the start of the episode. Ah, words. So, it could start cooking, and hopefully by next episode I have a good bit. I actually think I might want to just line this wall with coke ovens if I can, and then have, like, maybe a big blast furnace here or something. I don't know. I'm still considering what to do or how exactly. But, uh, yeah. The other thing I want to do is I want to make some new gear. 
And I was actually thinking of making a new great sword just so I can spend my levels enchanting it because the Tinker Swords are better in the long term. But until I get quartz and stuff to upgrade them, they're really not that good compared to this. Like, this has equal attack even after the modifier, I think, or the quartz modifier. Yeah. Even after that, I think, it has equal attack. It has extended reach even if it is slower. So, these are good. And I do like the extended reach. I think it did help a lot when I tested the other episode on the zombies. So I was looking over, and a diamond is, you know, just one attack path and an iron. Compared to everything else, there are a few other that beat diamond. Like, uh, the Fiery there. Uh, Amethyst does. Uh, Etheral does, of course. Uh, but Sapphire and, uh, Sapphire, Topaz, and Ruby all tie with diamond. And if you go, well, first I think I should grab this, just so I can see. Uh, coat coal, not sure if it's really showing much, but it's just a better coal, pretty much. But you need it to fuel the blast furnace. So that's why I wanted to start making coat coal. I might actually have to go and mine some more coal. I've been skipping coal and iron deposits now, just because I had so much iron. But in retrospect, I'm running low on coal. Uh, I did also throw a bunch in here, so. Yeah, I'm also not sure why they're not stacking. Oh yeah, there it is. That's, uh, it's two. It should be zero for coal. One is charcoal, like, after it says his ID. I don't know, it's just a glitch from something. I'll just actually throw this in one of these. There, that should still work, because it's technically cold, but... Ah, that's weird. So, let's see. But yeah, I have a whole bunch of, um, rubies. I have a whole bunch of amber. So I want to make some new gear. So, the first is I want to make full ruby armor. Because, if I remember right, ruby is fire retardant. And I think this should also be as good as diamond armor, at least judging by the weapon. So let's just go ahead and make full ruby gear so now I can't be set on fire, which is, in retrospect, very good if I'm going to be heading to the nether anytime soon. Now the next thing is, this isn't really good armor, but it's magic resistance. Now I'm not sure what uses magic exactly, so if anyone that, or knows what magic resistance works against, I think it actually might be from... Uh, I don't know, it might be just a better dungeon thing, or it could be from one of Time Traveler's mods. Like, I think in Potion Core, I don't think that's for 1.7 though, but I think that magic resistance counts for like, um, splash potions and those sorts of damage. Like, instant damage, and I think a few other things, I can't remember. But that's what magic resistance is for that. So, let me just put this on. So we have two on the legs, two and a half on the body, one on the boots... One on the helmet. While this is one and a half, uh, let me guess, one and, yeah, one and a half, one and a half, three, and this should be four. Yep, so this is equal to diamond armor in a full bar, while this is probably equal to iron, I'd say. That looks about right. If I swap that, oh, no, it's actually slightly weaker than iron. So, it's not the best armor set, but that's also why I made these armor stands, because I knew I'd be making more armor. There we go. And for the moment, I think I'm just going to put this here, but I'm probably going to start using that armor. Now, oh, I also did not see its durability. Uh, 513, I think that's about the same as uh, Diamond. Definitely uh, a lot more than the Slyra just play as less. So, the other thing to do is make the Ruby Sword. I moved the sticks over here just because that chest was getting full. Okay, so a Ruby Great Sword is like that, I believe. I could also just make a Ruby Sword, but I don't know. Like I said, I kind of am liking the Great Sword just for the reach. Because getting that extra attack range, like if a mob's here, and I think the normal sword has like this far of attack range or something, but being able to get an extra space back and still hit them, actually, I don't know, is it as far as I can hit a block? I think it might be, so right here I would not be able to attack with a normal sword, but actually let's just see if it actually shows. Yeah, I can't really see on block indicators, but eh. It has further attack range. I don't really need to say anymore, and that's not the enchantment table. I moved that, or I put that there because of the vats. Uh, well, they kept flooding the room. When it fails, it kind of floods and destroys it, and I didn't actually make another vat to replace it, but let's see. Okay, that's not horrible. I was kind of hoping for, like, sharpness or something good, but, uh, I don't know. That's not the worst to have looting. I just was kind of hoping for it to be a more damaging weapon, but looting could still help depending on if I need to farm anything. Like, if I did, really did need more riding flush, although I think I have a good bit, so that's not really an issue at the moment. But, uh, yeah. But the next thing I want to do is, uh, chocobos. You might have kind of picked up on that over the past few episodes, because I was farming all these, uh, guy shells, or guy shell greens, guy shells. I have, uh, 
some of the lovely, the golden, and I honestly cannot see them. <laughs> I know they're somewhere in here, though, but I have the normal ones, too. Um, yeah, there they are. So, I want to make, uh, actually, let me just search Chocobo and see what comes up. So, I actually don't know much about these. I believe they're from Final Fantasy. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but be nice about it. But I'm pretty sure that's where the inspiration is from, or something like that. I'm pretty sure they're from another game. It's a popular mod about... Well, you can kind of see here, there's a bunch of different colors. I think yellow are the only ones you can find naturally, though. And you can tame them with these uh, guy shell greens. And then you can breed them, and you can use the golden one to get the golden one, which is like the really best one. And these have different abilities. I think some can even fly. You can ride them with the saddle, and that's what I want to make right now. So, uh, let's see. I have some leather. Was it paper? It was string. Don't have a lot of that, but I should have enough to at least saddle one. So this will hopefully be a nice mount for exploring. I assume that's why it's in the mod pack. And also, was that a seed bag? I don't know. Actually, let me just uh, check. What was that? Woven cotton. Huh. I'll have to look into what that can do off camera. Because I'm not familiar with woven cotton. But I needed uh, one for the saddle. And this was a recipe for a book. I also heard if you use a book or a feather on a bookshelf, it makes one. I'm not sure. Actually, let's just try that. I can always make a new bookshelf if needed. <laughs> you can. I wonder if Time Traveler knew about that when she added the recipe, but uh, that just saves me from getting another feather. The feathers are used for a few things, so let's see. Also, saddlebags could be useful. Uh, pack bags. Uh, there's the Disguise, the Chocopedia. Also can make arrows. Huh, good to know. But, uh, yeah, so that was the main thing for the feathers. They just uh, drop... You can kill them for feathers, but they just kind of drop them like chickens drop eggs. So, yeah, that made it easy. So, let's see. Okay, I don't want to read through all of this. I'll probably read through it off camera just to get a bit better grass. But, uh, yeah, they have to be fed with loverly or golden to breed, I think. And, uh, there's the combinations of how you get the different subspecies. So, you need, pretty much I need to try and get a black and a white to make a gold. And I need the gold one to breed the gold one. Or to get the gold one or something like that. So, I need to breed yellow to get blue. Then I need... To breed the blue and green. Okay, so it seems straightforward enough anyway. And they each have different effects. I think they go through them here. I know like one kind of fly, which is really cool. And oh, I finally have a new book for uh, my bookshelf. Actually, why don't I have the Tinker's books? Oh, of course, the Chocopedia does not go on the bookshelf. Why would it? Uh, I don't know, probably just an oversight on Time Traveler's part for not adding it. But, uh, let's see. Well, one, I accidentally unsorted my inventory. I think I'm going to go try and find one of these, uh, chocobos now. Uh, yeah, like that. So, I'm gonna put this stuff away. I might need to sleep again, just because I've been... Yep. Yep, that's setting. So, I'm going to sleep, and then I'm going to cut until I find a chocobo, which will hopefully be nearby. So we can, uh, well, hopefully just feed it, tame it, and bring it back home. Hopefully. Okay, that's close, but... Not quite what I'm looking for. Nope, that's also not quite right. Darn. Oh, there we go. There is a yellow chocobo. I know I've seen them around here before. They might not even despawn, come to think about it. Okay, so you guys like these, right? Well, that was easy. So will you guys just follow me, or are you just domesticated? I don't know how this works. And I also didn't make a lead, so... Okay, if I just click you with a saddle, you're saddled, and I can ride you! Now, I don't think I can actually ride this one, and it doesn't seem to be following me. Now, can you actually fly? Well, it's trying to jump, so I guess it can't fly. Maybe it can glide. I honestly don't know what it's capable of, and I also don't think it can fit through my door. I didn't think this through very well, did I? But, uh, it is a mount, and off-camera I'll try and, uh, round up this one or another yellow one and start the whole breeding thing. And, yeah, I think it glides like a chicken. I don't know, it has a very slow and weird descent. It seems a little, like, I don't know, I have used a horse a good bit in Rediscovery, so I kind of up there like now. This seems a little more different as control. It's, it it kind of reminds me a bit more like a pig with a carrot on a stick. Just about the carrot on a stick. It's like it kind of has that you aren't exactly perfectly controlling it element, but it's still 
generally going where you're telling it. I don't know, it's working pretty well, and it seems to be working a lot better than uh, just, uh... Oh, and actually, the mob spawn is right below here. Yeah. I never saw it from the other side, so... Oh, it actually can take fall damage. Good to know. So, I think I actually want to make a little pen out here for them. I don't know. I'll do something for that. Uh, actually, let me just cut real quick and see if I can make some fences. Just so, hopefully nothing bad happens to them. So, one second. Well, I think this will do for the moment. Also, I did not measure this at all, so will you be able to fit in here? I'll need to get a bigger fence, Skate. Huh. <laughs> so it is a lot more like a horse than I originally thought. Oh well, I'll have to find a way to get it out without them all escaping. I don't know, I'll have to work more off camera. Probably maybe even make maybe more like a stable-like thing or a better area for breeding and separate ones for riding. Just so they're not all in the same thing. They're all trying to escape when I open the gate to take one out to ride. But I do have a chocobo now. And I'll be looking more into that off camera now that, well, I have the first one. You know, typical kind of fashion of how I do things. So, let's see. Well, I did make the new armor. I could make other armors, and I actually think I might just want to make a new set of iron armor. Actually, just, okay, one, I realized I didn't take that, and two, there's another iron armor I can make now. <laughs> Heavy iron armor. I just want to make this just because I can, but I also will make some new normal iron armor. Uh, let's see, like this. Oops. So, this has negative speed, and just holding it would, okay, so this is how I normally walk. I walk a lot slower, but oh my god, look at that durability. So this is slower, but it gives me, I think, full knockback immunity with a full set, because 2.5, that would be a full plus one knockback resistance, which I think is 100%. Maybe they have a knockback weapon, I still get knocked back, but they won't knock me back. I move slower, though, and it has um, uh, as much armor as full diamond. Maybe even more. I didn't actually check. Actually, let's see. Uh, that's equal to full diamond. That's equal to diamond. Uh, yeah, so it does seem same as diamond. Sometimes modders, uh, maybe not mess up, but give armor more than diamond that can sometimes exceed the max armor. I've seen that a few times, so not the most unlikely thing. And uh, let's see. Do, do, do. There we go. So a new iron set as well. Man, I just have so much iron. So much. And also, uh, do I have stone slab? Doesn't look like it. I did find that some of these recipes don't really work, like chalk sand to chalk. So if I go in here and I go like this, make stone. Actually, if I go, oh, that's how you do it. Whoops, silly me. I'll be honest, I went in creative, gave myself the chalk and deleted the chalk sand just because I didn't figure that out. But it kind of looks like it points you to doing it one way. Another thing I found was a uh, uh, magnesite to do a slab. That's also how you make a stone slab. Actually, is it shapeless too? No, that one's actually not shapeless, so... But I did find if I just uh, put a chalk in its place, I could make uh, stone slabs, which is how I made the armor stands. And I'll probably be making new armor stands off camera since I have more armor. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna rock out normal iron. It feels kind of silly when I just made all these armors and I'm just using normal iron, but I think that's what I'll be using. So, let's see. I think that's about everything I want to do this episode. I did get the choke up. Oh, I forgot one thing very important. So, we're gonna fight something. I actually think I want to take out this uh, fortress iron armor or the heavy iron armor for it. So, uh, I'm gonna bring this with me just in case. But, uh, yeah, I found something cool to fight and I'll just uh, be there in a minute. Okay, so I'm down here in a cave section I found, and I found over here there was light when I was exploring around. So what is this? So this is something from Mazawi's mom's, however I say that. So the trick is, you have to hit it in the back, and it's an interesting fight. Now, I put on my normal iron armor just for walking over here. I hope this will still give me enough speed. It is negative... Oh, I can't do this on the spot. 24 speed or so? Oh god, that hurt a lot. Ah! Okay, that's how you do it. Yep, it's kind of like a mob from Zelda. It might actually be based on a mob from Zelda for all I know. Okay, so at the dodge... 
Okay. Whew, we can do this. But yeah, I saw this dungeon and I know what this is from, ow, from creative. Uh, in other mod packs, actually, I've tested this mod before. Maybe even uh, while testing. Oh my god, that hurt a lot. Oh, that was close. So, like, a few more hits of that and we should be good. I just have to make sure to avoid that. Oh, I almost charged it up. I right-clicked by mistake. <laughs> I just realized I could use this. Oh god, that hit me still. But I should stop playing around now. Okay, actually. Okay. Need to keep my food up. Ah, darn, it's... Oh god, that hurt a lot. Okay, that was a lot closer a fight than I was expecting. But we killed him, and we got the fur rot helmet, and the axe of a thousand metals. And that's his special attack. Isn't that awesome? So these might not be items I use, but they're definitely really cool trophy items. <laughs> So, yeah, and that was a lot closer to a fight than I expect. If I died to that right there, you don't know how mad I would have been. I survive a fight, then a little mini creeper kills me. That would have just been the worst. Uh, yeah, this is a very dark area and a lot of stuff around. There's one thing I want to do real quick back at the base before I end off this episode, so I'll be back there in a second. Okay, so the last thing I want to do in this episode is make another portal. You might have actually picked up on that last episode, and that's actually what I wanted to do in the last episode as well. I just ran out of time. I also wanted to fight that guy in the last episode and make the coke oven in the last episode. The rest of the stuff was new stuff I prepared off camera. But let's see, I need a flint and steel, so I can just make that real quick. There we go. Because I actually don't have one of them, and that's the wrong chest for iron. So, uh, I almost put the flint and steel in. So we head out here. Things still looking good. I made this area for uh, this, and I actually had to relin or reshape this area a little, so it's probably a bit different than it looked last episode too. Didn't mention that before. So there we go. We have another portal, so now I can go explore the Nether and get the stuff to or Nether bricks and whatnot to make uh, the blast furnace. But I think I'm going to pick up next episode here going to the portal. I like just doing cliffhangers to end off these episodes, but I didn't get to the last episode because it was already so busy and I didn't have time to do this at the end of the episode, so... Ah. But anyway, uh, this episode is also running a bit long, so hopefully you guys are enjoying these a bit longer than planned episodes. And uh, yeah, but the next time I'll start by going to the nether, I might want to get some more uh, enchantments first. Like maybe enchant one of those sets of armor, make a new weapon to enchant, hopefully get like sharpness or something. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys all enjoy this episode. Until next time, goodbye.